And Youngster Jack, you are the fakest piece of friend I've ever had. You and I wish I never met you, bro. Youngster Jack, nightmare is. I'm nightmare. If anyone says nightmare, it is not me. It's not. I'm nightmare. Guys, guys, guys. It's with a heavy heart that I have to say that David Shoddy has ended. Okay, I, I really don't care about this dude. I haven't listened to him, like, seriously in three years. He has a ton of good music, though. Like, no one can lie. David Shoddy's got, he's got a pretty solid discography. Actually, I won't say discography because a lot of it is filled with some not-so-good music. But this guy has got some, you know, he's got some songs that are like, you know, Honda, London with Summers, like, his run with Youngster Jack. This guy definitely had a lot of really good music that people enjoy listening to. However, what he just did yesterday was probably one of the weirdest things I have ever come across in like my entire, uh, like I've just never seen it. Like I've never seen someone fall off and just, just like what David Shoddy did yesterday was flush his career down the toilet, dive into the gutter, swim through the sewer and just like go into the filth that he flushes career down I, like dude what this guy did was cr i can't even like let's just get into it all right if you didn't know yesterday david shoddy started tweeting a bunch of things like f the tampa show screw youngster jack and casper they were throwing a show in florida with this guy named speeder who's like a cool videographer and david shoddy was supposed to perform you know they're all nightmare or whatever that's like david shoddy's little group or used to be david shoddy's little group uh, i guess he got kicked out of his own group but everyone was really confused like yo dave, dave why are you saying f the people that you know these guys these are like your brothers right these are like youngster jack and david shoddy they've been so cool for like two years right like how did how did it just go to this everyone was super confused so david shoddy decided to fill us in he began by saying he wasn't going to be able to perform all right apparently i'm not performing it's out of my control sorry so for if anyone came for me i doubt anyone did anyways but yeah, I'm done with music and and everyone was and honestly I kind of felt bad. I thought they did something to him. I was like, dang, dude, they really just left him. Like, what did he do? Like, Cause right after he started saying that, yo, I have no money and uh, I'm about to be homeless. Hey, if you're in Tampa area, I do. I'm like have no money and like my phone's about to. So like, if you wanna DM me, if you wanna like hang out, cause otherwise i'm just gonna probably just sleep on the sidewalk or some shit but yeah bro this shit's crazy man like, and he basically said yo i'm not working with other people in music anymore i'm not becoming friends with any of these people man they just like backstab you and you know like, they're all fake blah 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 this is why i'm never having friends again bro or loving anyone again bro or trusting anyone again bro like because you f up and then they f turn exactly the opposite bro like the fakest people bro writing and then f***ing being like f*** you and he explained he was broke he then said screw casper screw jack screw all those guys and he finally gives us a little tidbit of info and apparently he scrolled past his eggplant for a little bit while his girl was looking and that was what the whole thing was about i'm not gonna lie like how do you do that on accident like what you scrolled past here okay we're not even gonna go into that but yeah f*** f all that sh yeah, I'm in Tampa stranded. I'm, I'm broke as fuck. So if you do live in Tampa and you do want to kick it, hit me up because I'm out here. Like, probably I have no money. Like, I, I'm probably just going to end up being, like, out here for a couple more days because I got to get the money to get back. But. He then said some not some nice things to them. He then started dissing the Tampa show that they were all supposed to throw. and no, not throw. They did throw it, and he was supposed to perform at. Casper, f Jack, f all them boys, losers. That Tampa show, whack ass, kicks me off. Them boys such users, bro. I scrolled past my dick on accident when his girl was looking, bro. Grow up. It's not that big a deal. Y'all are and fuck you. And I hope you slow. He then went on this like crazy rant against Casper and Youngster Jack. Like they were like, yo, we're just trying to be professional, blah, 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 man. Like, but you know, you gotta understand after what I tell you later on this video. Yeah, that Tampa show is weak as do not go, and if you're there, leave, bro. And f you, Casper, bro. Someone will probably send this to you, bro. You saw me. Why'd you go and? Oh, I was trying to be professional. You're a f loser, dude. F you, Casper. You're a f loser. Come sh me, you tough guy. You're a f dude. Your IQ is probably like 55. You. F and youngster Jack, you are the fakest piece of. 
ass friend I've ever had. You and I wish I never met you, bro. Youngster Jack, Nightmare is dead. I'm Nightmare. If anyone says Nightmare, it is not me. It's not. I'm Nightmare. Honestly, they were still a little too nice to him because like he did some weird, weird, weird stuff. And he was really mad. He then started crying on Instagram Live saying he was heartbroken. He said, me against them, choose a side. I'm not gonna lie, Youngster Jack, he's a little weird. He's a little weird. We'll, we'll say that. He's got some allegations. He's not, he doesn't seem like some clean cut dude, but yeah, we're definitely choosing them, bro. Sorry. And I, I know I keep saying I'm gonna get into it because they gave some crazy proof, but you'll see. In my final message, bro, because I'm heartbroken right now, bro. I'm not. I'm Nightmare. Nightmare still exists, but it's only me. And Youngster Jack is a He's not my friend, bro. I thought that was my man's, but apparently not. So yeah, it's me against them. You choose a side, bro. You can you can fuck with me, but I'm done. If you then you're someone that everyone hates. So have fun, but like try. Like I'm just letting y'all know, bro. Don't have friends because they're gonna break your heart, bro. So he then goes on this rant saying, "I'm tired of being used. Stop! They're all using me. That eggplant shouldn't have caused all this drama." So he said he carried these guys' musical careers. To be honest, Youngster Jack kind of revived David Shotty's uh, music career with that song Pressure. That's because David Shotty kind of fell off and then Youngster Jack kind of put him back on and then, you know, David Shotty's talented too, I'm not gonna lie. And I think Casper is retired, like that dude is not, is not interested in dropping music. Everyone, my all, all of my talent, just to get for a little minor detail, like, people, bro. Like, a p should not cause this much drama, especially when it's a accidental scroll. I love it because, like, I carried my whole lives, my ass at music, and I don't take no credit, and then this is how I get treated. Well, good luck with your music, guys, We're without the talent behind it. Hope you all die. After that, he sent out a bunch of tweets and he got picked up by like some groupies. Like they, I guess some groupies just DM'd him on Twitter or Instagram or whatever. And they just picked him up, uh, picked him up off the sidewalk, which like, I'm not gonna lie. Like if you pick a dude up like that off the sidewalk, you know, I'm not even gonna say it, but yeah, that's what happened. However, that's not the full story because you know, there are two sides to every story. The other thing I will say is David Shoddy, he pulled up to the Tampa show still. And then he was like begging people on Instagram live to let him in. I don't know how people at the show would let him in, but you know. Can someone let me in, please, bro? If you're at the Tampa show, let me in. I'm at the back door. Fools, bro. Let me perform. Fools, bro. If you're at the back door, let me in, bro. Please. Is anyone in Tampa show at the back door? He also went on another Instagram live where he said he was opening up and he accidentally scrolled past you know what and then you know he could have been talked out. Bro, this is what happened. It's easy. I was talking to Speed of Your Friend and being vulnerable, talking, opening up, and I scrolled past my a picture on my phone of my and I didn't mean to, but then when I scrolled past it, I was like being a dumbass goof, you know, like oops, oh my god, and I like froze on it and then I scrolled like I'm an idiot, yeah, but like bro, like then everyone like it could have been talked to, I don't know, but I am not mad at Speeder. Speeder did nothing wrong. If anything, deal. Sorry for Speeder. I just don't f Casper and all them because they jumped me and it wasn't their place. All right, I might perform though if you see me perform, bro. Like shoot, I don't give. Another thing, his girlfriend posted a picture saying shout out David Shoddy and there was like a red mark on her eye. By the way, the way that happens is you pop a blood vessel. And she said shout out David Shoddy. So I'm just going to let you extrapolate what that means, you know. But anyways, apparently right after this, a bunch of horrible stuff started coming out about David Shoddy. Like this dude was, turns out this dude was just a horrible person. Like, you know, I always, we always thought he was a little special. I'm not going to lie, like no one ever looked or you know, saw how David Shotty acted and was like, okay, this dude has is completely all the way there. But like, he made good music. He seemed like a super cool guy. So everyone was like, cool, right? But right after this, the amount of allegations, not even allegations, this stuff is basically all just proven to be true, just based on what happened. 
started coming out you know when everyone starts saying these things like it's like all right bro you might be cooked so here's some dms they said haha thank you girl also tell speeder if he doesn't know yet that david literally coerced his ex into hooking up she told me she said no like five times and he just whipped oh my god wow if you listen to those videos on speeder's twitter it's like a full rundown on how it happened i will listen i will play them too he's so wild i'm sorry about that with his ex and it was the day she tried oh my god she she was she tried you know doing i, I can't even read it it's got to be blurred so she was in a really bad place another person said david did the same stuff when he stayed with me tried to do so tried to do gay stuff with me and tried to dude's actually psychotic i chalked it up to like this extreme oh, autism and stopped messing with him had his mom screaming at me about when i wasn't even supplying them and he was getting them from other people i'd go to work and he'd have psychotic freakouts. Then Casper went on Twitter and said, nobody wanted this to happen. We wanted to take him to take the beating and apologize for his actions. He decided to laugh at us and refuse. No apologies for essaying his best friend's, or Casper's best friend's girlfriend. No one wanted this online. He posted it all, which is true. He kind of caused this all himself. So afterwards, Speeder posted some uh, videos to Twitter, kind of explaining their side or his what really happened. And here's what, how it goes. And I'm just going to play the full thing. But before I play the video of her talking, basically what happened was David Shoddy had tried to talk to her like, like they were friends. He was like, it's okay, I'm gay, so I can talk to you about this stuff. And he said like some really weird stuff. So I'm just going to play the video. We are and how he like, want, like looks forward to a relationship like that. And he's sad about, right, like with Kayla and he started explaining how he's like you know person and whatever and then first thing he says okay first thing that like threw threw me off was don't you think Casper looks good like you know girl talk because like yeah, I know I know you and Speeder but girl talk and um so like don't you think Casper looks super hot and I was like no I actually I was like, I actually need to explain something. Um, I was like, I, I'm, I'm so deeply obsessed in love with like, Ra like Ralph that like I literally, like, cannot find anybody else attractive. Yeah, you don't find anybody else attractive, but Ralph and me, right? Wow. And I was like, no. I was like, just Ralph, just Ralph. And he was like, he was like, yeah, I know, I know. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. And then he started going on a tangent about girl talk best friends da 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 like gay i'm gay whatever and he started going and he started going um he started going like oh yeah like let me show you something this is so weird and like started like talking about some random ash girl whatever girl talk he's claims and then it's literally him scrolling through dms with some other bitch where he's like that she's like fully sending like nasty ass news to him and I, I I I was like, what is he about to show me? And literally, as he's scrolling, I'm Yo, seeing these nudes, hello. and I'm yeah, like, what? And uh, then next thing you know, I think I missed one of your calls. can um, you take that outside, please? Take that outside real quick. Okay, what should I ask him? Your clothes? His clothes. Okay. My clothes. Yeah, the jacket. Oh. All right. So he started going on this tangent about girl best friends and like. You know, like, I'm gay, you're, you know, like, I could talk to you about girls and stuff, too, and whatever, because I'm, like, I'm gay and whatever, and I was, like, oh, what the f that is I such was, like, bullshit. Uh, uh, okay, and I'm he's, gay? like, yeah, and then he goes, he goes, yeah, but let me show you something, and starts going through this DM with some bitches, nasty-ass nudes, and then it's his dick pic. He doesn't click on it, but he's like, yeah, isn't this so weird? Like, I show- He then starts scrolling through, like, some explicit stuff with some other girl, and then- he basically just shows that girl that he was cheating on his girlfriend, I think, yeah. They then basically said that he tried to play it off, like, yo, dude, and I guess he tried to, like, you know, uh, mess with Peter's girlfriend, you know, if you know what I mean. So this dude was just like a psycho, I'm not gonna lie, like, this dude is actually crazy. And uh, they said, they then basically say, yo, why, why is he complaining about not performing the show? And that's it. Basically, he's completely in the wrong. He also took a crazy, 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 um, he got a crazy case of the beats and still showed up to the show. So that's how you really know he's crazy, by the way. Show this to everybody. I send this around to everyone. And I'm like, I, I turned around as soon as, like, I noticed that it was a dick. I turned around and I was like, I literally was like, what the fuck, bro? I was like, do you know, like, do not show me shit like that. And he's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. What did I do? And I was like, you do not show your best friend's girlfriend a dick pic like that. That is not right. I'm sorry. 
yeah i shouldn't have to but and then he was like going on like i know i'm so sorry i was just like you know girl best friends girl talk whatever girl best friends yeah girl talk whatever Dude, like then, suck my dick what right? a piece of shit and but this is where it kind of like like set it bro bro is set, baby yeah, set in stone done. listen he he goes he's like sitting there like, apologizing but at the end of it all he goes or I'm just, I just know exactly what I'm doing and uh, I'm just playing it off because I don't want to be embarrassed for getting like whatever. And I was like, he was like, but I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's not real. I was just saying that. And I was like, David, I'm not stupid. And he's like, can you like elaborate on what you mean by like you not being stupid? And I was like, David, like, let's what? just stop. And then I like got up and walked away because. No, nah, no, nah, bitch started crying after he got his ass whipped going, oh, yeah, maybe there's a dark part of me that, that maybe wanted to feel like that. And yeah, I guess I do admit that I really did like have some like bad intentions, but I'm just such a piece of shit, dog. I'm just such a piece of shit. Yeah. Oh. Uh. So yeah, like he full, fully fledged admitted to it sexually assaulting you. Yeah, and didn't was like say, sitting didn't there. Didn't you say like he was like, don't tell anybody. Yeah, or some he shit? was sitting there trying to tell me, don't tell Speeder, don't tell nobody. Like this is between you and I. Like I'm so sorry about it. And I was like, yeah, okay. I just kept saying like okay and like saying I'm like I'm not uncomfortable. I'm not. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool because I didn't want any of this shit to happen today. So I literally all I've been all I've been saying back to him was like it's not it you you have literally disrespected the fuck out of my boyfriend for one your best friend two and three it, you're crossing boundaries that weren't like needed to be crossed. And on top of that, I find out that he fucked my ex and, for whatever. And, he was trying to make it seem like this was some t like that. And, when in reality, he fucked up and he's just being a fucking Him idiot. asking, why am I not performing? Are you serious? And if, But he came up three this is times, just man. If anything, this is really sad. It is like, sad. Like, how can you... Because I asked him if I would have his word that he wouldn't say anything fucking crazy on the mic. But then all of a sudden I start hearing that he's on Instagram fucking saying all this crazy shit. On Twitter saying all this crazy shit. Bro, do you think I would trust anybody who would say, oh, I'm not going to say anything on the mic. And then fucking, bro, that's a liability to my face, my reputation, the fucking city of Tampa. The show fucking went so fucking well without him because nothing bad happened. Thank God. After that, he started explaining, like, he unlocked the R word level. It's like, geez, bro. He posted on Instagram and said, this is how y'all look. Y'all are crazy, blah, blah, blah. It's, this dude really, like, um, he deleted it, so someone sent me the screenshot. He really just ruined his career in, like, one night. I wouldn't even say a day. This dude ruined his career in, like, 12 hours. He's, he's kind of done after this. He just, like, buried that, like, you know what I mean? The deed is done. I don't even know what else there is to say. If you want to know who David Shoddy is, he came up with a song called Honda. Way, 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 way back in the day. Like, I was in middle school when this came out, bro. Like, seventh grade. Came out with a song called Honda. And I'm not gonna lie, that song was so good. And if you look at him there, he kind of just looks like a normal kid. I think over the years, what happened to him is, uh, I don't know, he had like a little run with a group called Nila World. He had a bunch of cool songs. He was, you know, lit on SoundCloud. He had songs with Summers. Everyone knows David Shoddy. If you listen, been listening to SoundCloud for any period of time you know who David Shoddy is so it's really sad and you know David Shoddy when he first came out had a lot of talent he still has talent you know look at look up Chip Skylark like this dude's got songs this dude's got like I'd still listen to like a lot of his old music bro is crazy up until 2021 like he was going crazy recently he started going like his music just got really weird I'm not gonna lie like I, I didn't enjoy all of it he still would like put out cool songs sometimes but you know this dude this dude had like good music you know what i mean and you know he has like 35k on soundcloud like he's definitely got you know stuff right now like he doesn't really get that many plays he makes like really i don't know he, he just drops like crazy and a lot of it is just like eh. but you know he's definitely he's got like a lot of songs then after he kind of like fell off and then he dropped a song called pressure with youngster jack or youngster jack dropped a song with him i should say and they blew up again he had a little wave he had the song called green it was like dang and david shoddy's back and you know everyone's happy for him whatever and then you know he kind of faded out again but 
I think over the years, what happened was he just took so many substances that his entire like psyche just got destroyed. Like I don't even think he was always like that. I don't know. I think I watched an interview where David Shotty explained he never had like a lot of money or something, so he always struggled and, and whatnot. So I'm not saying that, but to be honest, like go listen to songs like Who Let the Dogs Out. Like this dude, this dude was seriously talented. He knew how to make good music. Like David Shotty can make crazy music. He has he had a lot of potential. He kind of just wasted it all. Like, you know what I mean? Like he could never stick with the proper sound. He would make like really Really weird music sometimes which is cool but like sometimes it would just sound bad and even like two years ago he dropped a song called wizard 101 this is like oh no so that's not two years ago <laughs> this is 20 or that's 2021 but you know he still had it in him like he just kind of like fell off so he's been a little falling off but and he's lost a lot of fans through like all those weird transitions but yeah it's definitely He's definitely done now for sure though i don't really see you coming back from this unless like they all have some type of re like they all reconcile which i doubt will happen because yeah this dude is just batshit crazy can't even lie but yeah you know shout out the other artists uh i don't even think youngster jack is doing too good either i'm not gonna lie what is he up to let me look um yeah he's doing all right all right uh casper hasn't dropped in like three years but you know it is what it is um yeah yeah not a good situation at all but yeah that's it for the video to be honest not really much else to say i would just say like yeah be careful if you know you're i feel like you should just you know don't do drugs kid dare to resist the urge or whatever they say yeah you don't want to end up like david shoddy anyways thanks for watching have a nice day and uh see you tomorrow bye